Hello everyone, it's Alex from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a very special episode today. If you're not aware, what are you guys doing today? It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. But I am bringing to you guys a Christmas special. I have neglected for uh, about a month now to open up any of the packages I've received in the mail just because I've been busy and I'm not doing it on purpose. It's a little bit of lazy, but mostly I've just been really busy. So I decided I was going to save everything up. I made a post in the community tab about a week or two ago letting you guys know that I was saving everything up to do a big Christmas special here package opening. I do have a lot of packages. I'm not sure where everything is from. Some of them are from Amazon sent to the shop, so unfortunately it doesn't have the name on the outside of the package. But I do have a swath of packages here. We have from Scott C, who went nuts again. There's two of these big packages here. Stephen O, this is actually a gift box from Southern Hobby. You know, instead of giving us product, they give us snacks, which is fine because I'm hungry. Um, whatever. Uh, also from Bounty Hunter, we also have from Douglas and Lindsay. We have from John M from Washington. Lots of cool stuff. I have a mug here also from Stephen that is part of our Streamlabs merch because we have Limited merch, we have a white t-shirt and a white mug because the, the store logo uh, has a white background even though it is like a logo file. The background for some reason exists, so it's white, so I can only make a junky white merch on there. If you guys didn't know about it, well, you guys will see what it looks like today. I've actually never seen one in per- well, actually one arrived broken, so that's not true. The mug showed up broken, but they sent a replacement, so that's cool. Anyways, uh, we'll figure that out when we get there, but yes, we have all this stuff here. This box here from Academic as well, and Boss Man gifted me a box of Masterwork for Christmas, so I'll probably save this one till the end. But I am actually going to go ahead and start with Steven's packages, because some is leftover stuff from my birthday that arrived late, so he's been waiting a while. So I'm going to do with that. I believe the order Steven wanted me to open was this one here. There's an Amazon package, which I have down here, and then this box here, and I'll open up the stream legs. Lab, stream Labs mug as well. All right, so that's what we're going to do here today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Also, I, I have the intention of recording some personal breaks. I decided I was just going to do two, so that way just the three notifications. Because there's a lot more mail than I thought there would be, so I think this is going to be a pretty long episode. But also, I have two boxes of Konosuba the movie from Y Schwartz to open, and four boxes of Star Trek Discovery Season 2 coming up later today as well. I won't get those mailed out today. I mean, post office is closed. What's the point? Those will be shipped out on Monday. And then the rest of the personal breaks, we have some hockey, we have some masterwork, more Star Trek, and I think something else. Those will be done on Monday. There's no there's no live stream tomorrow night, the 26th, if you guys are not aware. So I'll be able to record a lot on Monday, so that actually works out pretty well for me. So that way, if you guys want anything, make sure to choose recorded personal break, or you can just wait till next Saturday, which is already January 2nd. Crazy enough. But all right, let's go ahead. Almost three minutes in, I've done nothing. Let's snap ourselves into the corner. I'm opening on my Bog Humbug Playmat Festive. Also, I've had this necklace for like 20 years. I love it. And I have this. I got this last year on clearance. I've never worn it. This is my first time wearing it. I have an AT here. Here, we're switching back. I have an AT-AT holiday sweater. I like it. It's comfy. It's comfy. All right. Re-snap. Re-snap without the snap. But all right. Let's open these up here. I'm recording. Yes, I'm recording. That would be awkward. The rest of Steven's crazy birthday gift to me. Allie and Ginter, all the way from October. This is the original box design. I remember Steven was saying some of the cards that he had ordered showed up late, and the box he originally wanted to gift them in also did not show up on time, so he just sent them afterwards. But Allie and Ginter, October 25th, 2020. Happy birthday. One of one. Awesome, awesome. I love the little box. The box is so cute. Yeah, what do we have in here? Spoilers? Spoilers? Steven, why are you sending me spoilers? Spoilers? That's hilarious. That is actually hilarious. Oh, wow. The foil alley in Ginter. Today in history, in 2008, this was October 25th, Big Ben Bishop, the tallest goaltender in National Hockey League history, won his first NHL game on this date in 2008 against the Florida Panthers. Two for one. Ben Bishop wins and the Panthers lose. Success. That is so cool. It was meant to be. Ben Bishop was obviously meant to be my favorite. We have spoilers. There is the pack design. Steven designed packs with me and some battle droids. Oh, that is so cool. I love the foil. <laughs> eBay one of one. Oh, thank you, Steven. Ooh. You guys collect my autograph, but now I collect Steven's autographs. That's cool. And oh, what is this? We have, oh, that is so cool. We have a Hanafuda Kitty Pride from Marvel Anime. I remember saying that I just love the little dragon. 
Oh, that is so cool. Thank you so much, Steven. That is awesome. That is so cool. Put that with my Marvel anime collection. Also, Marvel anime, I don't have any other Hanafudas, uh, which is kind of weird because there's a lot of cards that I like. I just never got around to looking for them. But I do have a decent amount of base parallels, like the Hyper Mosaic and the Mega Moons. Also a couple of autographs. No sketches, unfortunately, but that is awesome. Thank you so much, Steven, with the Kitty Bride Hanafuda. That is so cool. That is so cool. This is so cool. That is so cool. I love these little spoilers, like, things to protect from, like, me just seeing everything at once. That is so cool. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Steven. I love, love these cards here. The, the actual trading card and your custom cards. I love them. The box is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, like I said, I hope I'm following your directions. I believe this was the order you wanted me to open them up in. This is the Amazon package. Be awkward if it wasn't the Amazon package, because this was the one that arrived when you said there should be a package arriving. Otherwise, um... But all right, here we go. Steven had sent me some Legos lastly from Amazon. This doesn't sound so much like Legos, but we'll see. There's a box in a box. I love it. All right. All right, got some packing materials here. Box in box. A gift for you. Oh, look at that. Permanent marker, ultimate collection. Oh yeah, I remember Steven mentioning this at one point. That I should have fancy pens to sign cards in. That way they're different different thingies here. Oh, look, we're doxing Amazon's address. Wow. Ooh. Wow, I'm a horrible person. We never knew where Amazon was. I've spoiled the whole universe. That is a big box of Sharpie. 72 count. That is crazy. Ultimate collection. 32 fine. 29 ultra fine. 5 neon. Ooh, 6 metallic. Ooh. Ooh. I want to open it. I want to look at them. I want to find a green one. Oh, there's the colors there. Well, you know what? I want to see the tops anyways. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that is so cool. I like the spaceship. It's so cute. Oh, my goodness. I've never been this excited about markers in my life, but I love it. This used to be my favorite color, seafoam green. I'm now into darker greens, too, but I just... Any kind of green is wonderful. I love this color a lot. I don't know what that would be called. That's kind of like a lighter olive. There we go. I like these. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all better watch out. It's going to take me forever when you're like, Allie, can you sign my basic land? Yes. Let me dig out 72 markers and figure out which one I want. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Steven. That is so cool. I love it. I love it. This also reminds me I meant to... Uh, the people who sent me stuff on Amazon for my birthday. Obviously, I said thank you in the stream when I opened them all. Uh, but I meant to send the thank you notes. And I never did that. My apologies, everybody. We'll see if I get to these for Christmas. I hope so. It's not like I didn't want to. It's just one of those things where it's like a not a, it wasn't unfortunately in my top priority for the week and then I kind of forgot. But alrighty. Let's get this moved out of the way. And I like this bubble wrap, so I'm keeping that. Keeping these boxes. It's good to have all kinds of weird sizes of boxes. You never know what's going to fit into what when you're opening this product. But here we go. This one is for Steven. Or from Steven, not for Steven. Didn't block out the address because it is the UPS store. And then Streamlabs box. Actually, Steven can't tell me what to do. Opening up the Streamlabs box next. This should be a mug here. Streamlabs merch. It's from North Carolina. But yeah, we do have a little little mug, little t-shirts, if anyone cares. I don't actively promote it because it's just kind of there. If you guys really care to have a Titan Cards mug, which they are pretty cool, uh, you can get your own. And this is what they look like. If I could get it out of the box. Alrighty. Alright, look at that. Titan Cards and Games with our little dice man. We actually have a big like window cling of him on our on our main window at the shop. That is cool though, Titan cards and games. Very nice. Yeah, the last mug arrived, the handle had broken off. So this is cool. Nice and sturdy. 
Uh, my coworker, or our person we have do TCG mail a couple times a week. Uh, he uses it as like a cup holder. <laughs> So that way none of, none of the drink sweat gets anywhere, so it's just the other- we didn't get rid of it, we just have the broken one because of it. It's cool though, I like it, I like it a lot, that is cool. Let's see what this thing says. Hey, thanks for your support, you can now rep the streamer IRL. Be sure to tag at Streamlabs and the streamer, join Prime to create your own store. Very cool. I like the little logo. I actually have a Streamlabs t-shirt. They're like, hey, you want a free t-shirt? I'm like, yeah, sure. I don't know if I've worn it in a video, I know I thought about wearing it once. Yeah, it's something I can wear next year ha 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 that is cool like a mug <laughs> all right time for the christmas gift christmas gift from steven and then uh, these big boxes are stressing me out so that's what i'm gonna get into next for some reason i don't under scott c i don't know what he sent me here i could have looked it up because uh I'm nosy, but I didn't want to look it up because then that would be spoiling it. I'm literally going to open it. The box on here, it says crossed out. It says Zodiac Aerospace. Like, did Scott send me a spaceship for Christmas? I'm confused, but we'll get into that one next. And then probably the Southern Gift because I'm kind of hungry. I want to eat some of those snacks. All right, let's crack this open. I see crochet. I love crochet. I love me some crochet. Is it a whooper? Oh my god, is it a whooper? I see these things on Etsy all the time. I'm like, I need it! Look at the whooper. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at him! Oh my god, he is so cute. And it is a he because of the whoopers, male whoop. Fun fact male whoopers have the two, female whoopers only have the one. I'm gonna zip his tail. Ah, oh, his tail moves. Ah, it's so cute. I love these little crochet amigurumi things. I actually did a video recently on my personal channel that's linked in the description down below. Ali's treasure trove on some amigurumis that I received in the mail. This is awesome. I love it. Thank you so much, Steven. This is great. Where do I put him? Maybe the whooper will chill out with Wayne Gretzky. Or I could put him up there. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to take this tree down soon. It'll soon be no longer thematically relevant, so I'll have to uh, move that. Maybe I'll have space. Also, I'll probably have space finally put up those Funko Pops. I told Scott that when he sent me, I'd put them in the background, and I didn't do that. I can put it up there. There's, look, there's space now. Ooh. But yes, this is so cool. Thank you so much, Steven. I love it. Oh, my God. I love Whoopers. In case you can't tell, Whoopers my favorite Pokemon. I wish I had, like, a V-neck, because then I could just shove him in here and just hold him without using my hands. That is so cool. He's like heavyweight too. He's like bottom heavy, so that way he sits properly. I love him. Thank you so much, Steven. That is wonderful. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. I love these. Love these so much. Uh, I didn't plan very well space-wise for this. Just keep pushing stuff this way. There we go. This is so cool. I'm having such a great time. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Let me move this off to the side. All of my awesome new gifts from Stephen. Whooper wants to chill in the mug. You want to chill in the mug? He wants to chill in the mug. Mug Whooper. And the Sharpies move this. Are they on camera? No. Are they? Do they show up? No. Look at that value. Right off the camera. This area over here you guys can't see. Very cool, very cool, very cool. All right, I set up next, I do Scott's gift. These arrived just in the nick of time. Bossman texted me yesterday on Thursday that I had big packages arrive via UPS. And I was like, wow. I mean, they arrived in time. That is very cool. But these are two very big packages from Scott. You guys can't even see the full thing here. Look at this. There's two of them. They're this big and there's two of them. Scott, what are you doing? Man, this is crossed out here. Zodiac Aerospace. Is there a spaceship in here? I don't understand. It does say fragile on it, which makes me want to shake the packages, but they're so tightly packed, I guess nothing's moving. But all right, we're going to open them up, I guess, over here, because there's no way I can actually hold these on camera. Pretty sure they're, like, actually too tall anyways to set. Yeah, they, yeah, I can't even open the box and have you guys look at it, like, super close up. All righty. Let's get into box number one.
All right, I think I need to hold it this way. Well, I'm not even holding it anymore. I think I need to set this here so I can actually cut. I know you guys tell me I need to sharpen tiniest knife, but uh, I prefer to have tiniest knife not be the sharpest because I do poke myself too frequently. You think I'd be good at my job by now? Speaking of, it's almost our one year channel anniversary in two weeks, two and a half weeks or so. 14th of January was the first ever upload here. I know if you look in the uh, about tab on the channel, it says it's a couple years old. I think either four or five, almost years old. That is because it used to be Boss Man's like, channel he'd just watch actual YouTube on. Um, but the channel's one year old. But that's, that's the official birthday. I took over. And uh, that's how we're all here now. This box is a very thick box. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of bubble wrap in here. This is just going to be an hour-long episode of me opening Scott's box. Oh, my goodness. Oh, box two. Ah, oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is the first. I opened box number two first. All right. All right. So I guess this one is number one. We're starting over. All right. Let me struggle with this box. That was really cool, though. I opened it up, but it was actually the right direction. I was 50% correct. Right direction, wrong box. This is some heavy-duty tape. So I was opening this in the right direction as well. Alrighty. We have some text here. Also, these were addressed to the treasure trove, but I'm opening all the Christmas stuff here, so I'm just opening it here. Scott, I hope you're not upset about that. Uh, but we're on the main channel today, boys! All right, let's see. This is Howdy Alley. This is some last minute goodies that I thought would fit into your collection. There are two boxes. Hopefully they arrive fairly close to one another. Happy holidays, and as always, keep doing a fantastic job breaking. Cheers, Scott C. Aw, thank you very much, Scott. That's so awesome. But if I remember, I'll link the video up here to the last package that Scott sent over on my channel. Uh, there was a lot of gritty merchandise. I loved it. I'm unreasonably obsessed with gritty. The uh, mascot for the Philadelphia Flyers, if you're not aware unreasonably obsessed with gritty to the point where i messaged chris Penix asking for a gritty commission like a living set like chris Penix does the star wars living set do like an nhl mascot living set like i like i said unreasonable obsession with gritty all right here we go oh the context for that was i sent him the link because chris Penix posts a lot of gritty memes on facebook i sent him the link to uh twitty's uh <laughs> twitty's Gritty's Twitter diatribe about creating a he created a petition for uh, Batman to make him an essential worker so he could come to the the season. You should go read that. It's really it's hilarious. Let Gritty do his job. Anyway, a lot of bubble wrap here. I see Target bag. <gasps> oh my goodness! I tried to convince my mom to let me buy this on Black Friday because he was like half price, but we have Baby Yoda. See, Mom, I got him anyways. You can't stop me anymore. But look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at this giant baby Yoda. That is amazing. That is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at him. Look at him. He's so big. He's so big. And his little feet. He has nails. That is awesome. Ah! Ah! It's a gritty ski mask. I knew I should not have put on makeup today. I got lazy. I was like, oh, that is super cool too. I know I was like, I was like, I don't want to put on makeup. I'm lazy. And then I did it anyways. Now I'm going to get makeup all over my gritty, maybe. Hopefully y'all didn't just skip through the video and now you're like super confused as to why like 20 minutes in Allie's wearing a gritty mask. I'm cool. We have Dio. That is so cool. Customizable Dio. You can move his arms and stuff. That is cool. 
Oh, you can put the wrenches on. I was like, Dio doesn't have arms. Oh, but you can mix and match with the other ones, too. Look, I could put Dio's head on a, a chopper's body or R2's or whatever. That is so cool. That is cool. I've seen those before. I've never looked at it too close. That is awesome. I see. It looks like some cup holders. Look at that can holder. I've got two gritties. <laughs> this is so cool. Have a box. Open that one up after. But this is the one that was like, ooh, we have the four pack, the exclusive four pack, Fanatics exclusive of the Wayne Gretzky's. My hockey Funko collection grows. All the Gretzkys, we have the St. Louis, the Kings, the Rangers, and the Oilers. Look at those little Gretzkys, that's so cute. The Blues, they're, uh, the Blues uniform is like an older one too, that is cool. That's so cool, look at all the Gretzkys. I do have this big Gretzky up here too. By Modern Horizons, you buy Double Masters. Look at that, got the Gretzky shelf now. <gasps> ooh, ooh. We have, oh, there's a loose die in here. Oh, looks like bags full of dice. These are cute. I love the greens. I'll show those after. I'm distracted. Bye. Dio Lego. Look at that. We have the Dio 519 pieces from the Rise of Skywalker. And it comes with a little minifigure too. But the big Dio, that is awesome. It is 10.5 inches. Wow. And it is actually it does count as a UCS set because it has the little display there. I have the BB-8 one. This is awesome. Ooh. All right, this gritty mask is I'm getting a little too hot. I got to take this off. Am I a little too hot? I mean, I was already too hot wearing my sweater. I have ungrittied. That is awesome, though. I know what I'm going to be for Halloween next year. You guys thought it was going to be good cosplay. I'm just going to be gritty. But we also have, there's so much, oh, I didn't do the, uh, the dice sets. Oh, cool, there's a little blue one there. Let me hold this, hold these down here. A little set of the blue ones. Now I can play D&D &D or Magic or both. The blue set, I saw a green one, one of the little green ones escaped. Which green set is it? It looks like this one, like an emerald color. Very cool, very cool. I like that color a lot. The blue ones are nice too. I like the green ones a lot. All right, what's this third bag here? What color are these? Ooh, ooh. They're red and black ones. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. Very cool dice. Thank you so much, Scott, for obviously everything. There's still more to go. There's still some more stuff in this box. Then there's a second box. All right, let me take that out, put these out. These are cool. Let me go ahead and open these up. I can see through what they are. These are those little mini, little baby Yodas. Oh, these are cool. This is like the second series. I haven't seen them before. Oh, he's in his little, Look, he's in the little, his little baby thingy. Aww. Focus. Hateful camera, hateful. Aww, look at him. Adorable. Hi, he's so, he's so cheeky. Look at him. That is so cute. He wants to press the button. He's going to do it. Uh-huh, thank you. Oh, uh, what do we have here? We have some more. Oh, that is awesome. I have to not... Hey, I have to keep these for my mom. My mom will take them from me. But it's actually a cool thing. My mom does actually have the UP, so now I have my own UP. There's a UP, and then there's the Canadian exclusive Patrick Waugh in here. Oh, that is awesome. I need to... Hold on, I'm going to... 
move these box, this first big box out of the way. I'm getting absolutely crowded here, and then I will get into. All right. Like I said, poor planning on my part. There's just so much stuff. There's really, this place isn't that big. Like there's obviously this, the shelf and then the wall, but there's, here's already the table. This is the amount of space between the desk and the table or the desk, the table and the shelf. There, there's really not much room in here. It's an optical illusion. It looks like this is a big office space. It's really not. I'm gonna yell from the door so you guys know how far away I am. All right, I'm at the door, literally very tiny office, but it works. All right, two big steps and I have returned. Not even gonna bother editing anything out because I was trying to give you guys reference to how not big this place is. But, all right, let me, let me start putting up here just so there's more room. Oh yeah, and there's this box too I have to check out. The mug whooper. He looks so happy in the mug. I kind of just want to leave him there. Like, he, the mug whooper, he lives there. He lives in the mug. All right. All right. This is only box number one. Big box, big boxes. Let me unearth Yuppie here. Yuppie is great. They need to make a Thunderbug one. Please, Funko, I'm begging, I'm begging. We have Yuppie, Canadian exclusive. I believe it's exclusive to Grosnor. I'm not certain what that is. I'm assuming it's like the Canadian version of Diamond because when I was in Montreal, you'd see the, the uh, Canada exclusive stickers at like random shops. That's why I'm assuming it's kind of like Diamond. But it's very cool. We have Yuppie. Oh, I just noticed Yuppie is actually in his name has an exclamation point. Yuppie. And we have Patrick Wad here. In the Can Canadian's uniform. Very awesome. These are so cool. I love all the hockey ones. These are so great. Do they fit up here? Is this the Gretzky slash Montreal Canadien shelf? Up there. Nailed it. Hopefully they don't fall. That would be horrible. But all right, before we get into box number two, I do have to check this out here. All right. What is this? Is this a gritty votive candle? What is this? This is well packed. Oops, I ripped the bubble wrap, whatever. I try to conserve bubble wrap for reuse here. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it is our Lord and Savior, Gritty. We have a Gritty votive candle. That is crazy. Lefthandpathart.etsy.com. Great job here. I love it. We have Saint Gritty. That is wonder. That is wonderful. Festive. Return of our Lord and Savior Gritty. This is crazy. This is... <laughs> oh, man. That's Scott. This, how do you, I don't know how you found this stuff, but this is crazy. All right. Box number two. Rise of the Great One. It says, the masks are from 2002-03 UD Mask Collection. Ooh. Scott did give me a the, the bunch of mini jerseys, an older Upper Deck mini jersey set. Where is Tiny Knife? Tiny Knife has been uh, covered up here. Here he is, under Yoda's butt. All right, box number two from Scott here. I just gotta flip it around this way. I'm not getting a good angle. This is 
seriously some heavy duty tape. I always notice opening up packages like ship UPS and whatnot are is quite difficult. I mean, makes sense, but still. All right, what do we have here? We have a gritty keychain. Why does Gritty get so much merch, but Thunderbug doesn't? I mean, Thunderbug's not a meme. We need to work on getting Thunderbug to be a meme. We have a Gritty keychain. Arise, the great one! Why is your mouth like that, Gritty? Gritty, why are you screaming? We should be screaming. We should be afraid of you. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> That's the noise I imagine he makes. And Gritty has a flat butt here. Gritty, Gritty you gotta do some squats. Oh man, oh man. This is crazy. This is some crazy stuff in here, Scott. And we have... Alright, looks like we might be getting into Mask Town here. A lot of very nice bubble wrap. We have... Let me see. I think lastly in here, it's just the two masks. I want to make sure I don't miss anything before I start uh, putting all the bubble wrap back in. They're in, I can't tell who's who because they're in, they're in cases. Let me shovel. Instead of shoveling snow here in Florida, I shovel bubble wrap. Let me put Gritty there. You all can stare into his eye. Oops, I'm rolling over. Oops. Alrighty. Let's see. Actually, I'm running out of space almost. After Scott's packages here, I'm actually gonna probably could do a cut and take a uh, take the stuff out of the room just so I have space, more space. I do have to move over, big gritty. Check out mask number one. All right, which way is the top? Which way is the bottom? I guess I'll find out. Oh, this is like a really old mask. Oh, look at that. You have an old mask. That is cool. All right, so it'll sit this way. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cool. I see. It's a really old mask. That is cool. Uh, sit that over here for now. All right. All right. Yeah. Mask number two. It's yellow. I'm trying to think yellow. I'm like, Vegas didn't exist back then. Maybe it's, oh, is it a, is it a Bruins mask? Maybe. The Tuca. Oh, it looks like a badger. That is cool. I'm trying to squint. I don't think it says a specific player or anything like that. That is cool. Look at the mask. That is, a, that is a Bruin, right? This is a Bruin's mask. Interesting. Never seen a mask in that style. Kind of reminds me of like a badger. This is the correct color scheme for Bruins. Very cool. I've never seen these before. I didn't even know Upper Deck made this stuff. Like I was surprised at the mini jerseys. 
Uh, and I didn't even know Upper Deck made masks either, like blind box masks, I guess. That is cool, though. Thank you very much, Scott, for all of these awesome gifts. I love them all. The gritty stuff is hilarious. I love this candle. It smells really good, too. What kind of scent is it? I don't know if it says. But it smells really nice. I like it. It's hilarious. Look at that, you guys. Down there, bottom. Bottom right. That is insane. Insane gritty. Baby Yoda. Crazy on this D.O. Lego, too. I know these aren't cheap. All of this stuff, I'm assuming, is not cheap. Thank you so much, Scott. Uh, for all your crazy gifts once again Scott went back again sent me even more stuff this is crazy I love all of it thank you very much but like I said I am going to do a quick cut here clean this up and then I'll be back with a clean slate and probably snack on some stuff from Southern Hobby so give me one moment all right everyone I've returned obviously for you guys not so obvious for me but I'm ready to get into some more packages here all right should have probably cleaned off a little bit got my trash can here but all right, we are ready to get into some more packages here. This is the gift box I was mentioning. Uh, it did arrive I think a couple weeks ago from Southern Hobby. Just was with our order. It's like, oh, gift box. Um, but let's check out what's in here. I'm going to go ahead and snap for this one since it's, it's camera size. Let's get on into it here. I see some Ghirardelli squares I'm going to go ahead and get on into. And some cookies. A little fruit stuff as well. This is cool. It's like, oh, we got a gift box. That was actually the joke I cracked earlier was the one I made. I was like, oh, they'll, they'll, they won't they will send us product, but they'll send us food. But no, this is appreciated. Any kind of free snacks is always nice, man. Free snack, whoop. Very cute presentation as well. Oh, it's, oh, there goes the jam. Good thing we have carpet. We have Bon Mama Strawberry Preserves. It expires 6-12-2022. We have the jam. I have relocated the jam. All right. Save this ribbon for something. Throw that off to the side. It is, I thought it was going to be deeper, but it looks like everything's just sitting on top, which is fine. I guess I don't need too much stuff. We have fruit and nut bites. Soft nougat. Oh, there's stuff stacked in here. Milk chocolate covered hazelnuts. There's those peppermint squares I'm going to get into. And there's sticky toffee behind it. Lily O'Brien's sticky toffee. Cubetti hazelnuts. Ooh, hot cocoa. I was thinking maybe I should make one for me for the video, but I'm kind of lazy. Maybe I'll do another cut and get some later. We have Godiva Masterpieces milk chocolate. Ooh, we have more milk chocolate truffles. I love those things. I love the uh, caramel squares as well. A special gift just for you. Very cool. Nice basket, too. My mom will probably want to put like plants in it or something. So that is cool. Thank you very much, Southern Hobby. We appreciate the gesture, kind gesture. Lemon, lemon chili, lemon cookies, caramel popcorn made with premium caramel, the little milk chocolate truffles, peppermint puffs, vanilla fudge with sea salt. Why does it have salt in it? All right, I gotta try one of these. Why do they? Why would you salt your fudge? I've seen it before, salted fudge, and I'm like, why? Let's see how it tastes. Let's alley full screen and see if uh, a good reaction or a bad reaction. I prefer unsalted. We got some unsalted stuff here. Let's try that. Allie's snack break. <laughs> Somehow weaseling its way into video content. Milk chocolate caramel line of Belgium. Sounds fancy. Serving size, one package, calorie 80. YOLO. That's cool. It's got a little design on it.
No, that's the stop. That's good. That's good. I'm just making space. I'm just making the space, you guys. We're going to need the space to open more gifts. I got to just keep eating. See, peppermint bark. I don't know if I've had any of the peppermint ones before. Alright, one last snack for me. I'm going to try the dark chocolate peppermint. I really like, I do like dark chocolate. It's just strange because no one else in my family really likes dark chocolate. Like, I'll even eat like 80%. Like, I don't care. It tastes good. Mm. Mm. I guess Southern Hobby isn't that. No. But anyways. Anyways. Before I keep eating stuff, I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side. That is cool, though. The little jam. My mom will like the little preser preserves, not jam. That is cool, though. And I will be munching on this throughout the day. While this, because this video is going to take forever, I can already see we're already at 45 minutes. Like, it's going. It's going to be a long time. It's going to take a long time to export. That sounds like I have export time snacks. Not sponsored, but I do have the weird looking bottles of Dr. Pepper here with me today. And all righty. Let's go ahead into this. This is a mystery package, but Boss Man found it. And it feels, well, obviously it's for me. It says to Allie from Titan. This is like an Amazon package or something. Because it doesn't have any kind of address. Nothing. But feels like stuffed animal in here. So let's go ahead and snap us into the corner. Almost covered up tiny knife once again. Oh, he's so big! Oh my goodness, look at that! We have an ice cube. He's so big though. Sparkling friendship. That is awesome. I don't know who this is from, but that is awesome. Thank you so much. I did actually get one of the, the regular size ones from the Pokemon Center. Which actually explains why it's in like an Amazon box. Uh, Amazon Pokemon Center sends in like Amazon boxes somewhere. That is so cool though. He's so big. So I have a small one. Now I have a big one. He's so soft. He's so squishy. His head's so squishy. This is great. I love this. I haven't even found him in game yet, but this is probably my favorite new gen Pokemon. His name is Ice Q because he's a penguin and his head is an ice cube. I love him. I don't want to get makeup on you. Go over here. Love. 10 out of 10. Oh. I've had this necklace for 20 years. Apparently I'm trying to break it. All right, Ice Q. We love Ice Q. All right, what is next? Uh, next up, I'll probably go through this package from Academic. Now, Academic, uh, the post office hates you, I guess, because this package looks like it was kicked and beaten and is also quite dirty. So let's go ahead and snap ourselves into the corner. Academic changed his YouTube username, so he's no longer even Academic. You just have to recognize him by the uh, profile picture. Be like academic sneaking around. It's like, you think I won't recognize you? I recognize you, academic. And that side looks like it already got cut open. But, all right. This was also addressed to the treasure trove. Again, I'm just doing all my mail here. Ooh. Ooh, we have a note here. All righty. From, from academic here, it says, Hey, Allie, trovelings, the face you see on your screen reading these words has been a constant source of joy and normalcy for us. It has been a year of hardships for many, a world worth escaping for small segments of important portions of time. Consistency in a moment-to-moment -moment world is immeasurably comforting to so many, I speak for myself mostly. Allie, I don't know what 2020 obstacles you have had to force 
will yourself through, but you know this, you persist. Building a business is physical, strategically exhausting, and emotionally grinding. To do so in front of a camera can be soul-crushing, delightful, and empowering with the whole spectrum in between. You have handled the struggle with true passion, flair, and confidence, and this is why we watch and sub. Because if you can be consistent in what you look to accomplish, maybe each person who stumbles upon you in the algorithm can do the same in their pursuits. So to all, inspire like Ali, rise above the challenges we think you are t we think are too much. Inspire everyone in your household, your neighborhood, your community, state, country, world, galaxy, universe, and beyond. Ali, you are a gift. Your persistence, your genuine fan geekiness, your presence in this community with a confident smirk and hairy Greek lady forearm. Featuring the hairy Greek lady forearm thro throwback there, academic, appreciate all of you. All that girl is awesome to witness. Thanks, queen. <laughs> Have a successful holiday season, Titan Cards. Allie, it's been a pleasure witnessing your evolution this past year. Thanks for taking us along your journey. You bring much new light to this world. Dork for life, ride or die, academic. Oh, thank you so much, academic. That is very kind of you. Shout out to the post office for crinkling and getting the nerd dirty somehow. Like, how, how do you how do you get a package dirty, post office? Like, you can't, oh, there's, there's Legos in here. Ooh, Star Wars Legos. Legos. Ooh. What do we have in here? But, like, how do you get... I don't understand, like, did they, like, punt it through dirt or something? But, ooh, we have some sets here. I see Anakin, I think, here. A little Anakin in there. These remind me of these, like, or no, is this... I look like a board. Who are you? What minifigure are you? Oh, is that, like, an old Ventress? I was gonna say, these look like the older sets I used to have when I was younger. This is awesome. There's a loop there. This is the last Jedi Luke, I believe, or Force Awakens, one of the two. And we have the instruction booklets here. Six and up. X-Wing Fighter, ooh. Look at that, we got a little Astromex here. Got some uh, pilots, we've got Little Astromax. These are so adorable. There's a lightsaber in there as well. So these pieces. Looking like. I don't want to say X Wing. It doesn't look like X Wing pieces. Perhaps something else. Maybe like an A Wing or a B Wing. Or maybe it is an X Wing. That is cool. Very cool. Oh, these are what the sets are, so we know what they are. All right, so we have these in here. We have Luke and Ray on Octo. Ooh, so that means there's a Porg in there somewhere. That is a cool set. All right, it is an old Anakin Starfighter here versus Ventress. That is cool. 2015, so it's not like super old, but that is so cool. And we do have... An X-Wing. Oh, it is an X-Wing. All right, because the pieces. That makes sense. I was like, do I look? They look like they get put together side by side, but that is not the case here. That is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Academic. How old is this one? I'm curious. What does it say on the back? 2012. Very cool. Thank you so much, Academic. This is awesome. This seems like a good day of fun on the trove. Put these together. That is so cool. Thank you so much for your kind words, awesome notes, and awesome new Legos to add to my Star Wars collection. You guys keep sending me Legos, which is awesome, and I really appreciate it. Just make sure you guys don't hurt your pocketbook sending me stuff. Scott just keeps sending me a ridiculous amount of stuff. Steven as well. I'm assuming they just have extra to burn. But never feel bad to not send me anything. I appreciate if it's just even a message on YouTube saying, hey, you love the channel anything like that. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is so cool, though. This is so cool. Really making my day here, everybody. And all right. Thank you very much, Academic, for that. And please let me know in the comments who sent me the ice cube. Please. Please. I have a feeling it's Steven, because we were talking about ice cube together. But let me know. All right. We have now this one. Also more mystery package. This one is 0.2 pounds. Allie from Titan. Go ahead. See? This one has a note in it. Ah, there's more Sharpies. I feel like all these Amazon packages are from Steven. But we'll see. Ooh, metallic. Ooh. Ooh, metallic green. 
fine permanent marker, great for dark surfaces. Very nice, very nice. I'll have to try those out. Add to my Sharpie collection. Very cool metallic colors. Thank you very much. Again, please let me know in the comments who, if you sent me these markers. Again, I'm just assuming it's Steven. It seems like a very Steven thing to do. But if I'm wrong, definitely let me know. Now we have a couple different things here. This one is from Stacy. It says, do not bend. And this one was from a Nick A, but it says Alley Beautiful, so I'm not sure if someone ordered something on eBay and it just happened to come from that seller, or it is from Nick. I'm, certain, I'm assuming we'll find out here, but from Stacy from Cedar Rapids. Let's go ahead and open this. Try not to bend. Oh, that is cool. Look at my thumbnails. There's photos in here. Oh. That was a return address note, so I tried not to show that on camera. Look at that. We have the Theros thumbnail. Titan Hunt at Titan Cards and Game Part 2. I remember the title of that video. And this was a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. I don't remember 100%. That is cool, though. We have Allie. Hello, Allie. How are you? Hope all is going well. My name is Stacy, and I'm writing to tell you I'm a huge fan of yours and your work. Really enjoy all the great work you do at Titan Cards and Games and your great videos on YouTube and you, live streams on Twitch, and the success you are loving. You are lovely. You are truly an amazing person. Oh, thank you. I would be very grateful if you would sign the photos I included would honestly mean a lot to me. I also added a couple index cards and have the idea to start a collection of sketches, doodles, and artwork from amazing people. I write to you if you wanted, uh, if you would take the time to add a sketch, doodle, or artwork, I would be very appreciative. Thank you so much for your time and effort and wish you continued success. Stacy S. Oh, thank you so much, Stacy. That is awesome. Definitely. Ooh, I can try out my new Sharpies index cards. Let me figure out. I'm not sure what to doodle on there for you yet, Stacy. But then there is the Stacy, the return envelope. Do they fit in the envelope? They will fit in the envelope. Although I'll probably put them in some sort of top loader. I would not want them to get bent for you. That is cool. My thumbnails here. Looks like the good time to use a green metallic and a red metallic sharpie. These are some of my good quality thumbnails. I used to have better skin in the thumbnails with the old cameras. The new cameras are all too HD, so sometimes they get self-conscious. And like some of the old thumbnails don't look great, but like, these are some good thumbnails. All right, we have, I'll use the red one on the Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh! The green on the Theros. I wish I knew what the, uh, I think this is like something like checking out the new archetypes, but I remember this one is Titan Hunt at Titan Cards and Games Part 2. Because we needed to restock the, uh, the binders, our in-store binders with Theros singles because we sold a lot. And uh, we were just looking for Croxes and whatnot. But all right, do I have to shake these or anything? Metallic ruby. Let me actually take I take the Streamlabs note. Make sure the color shows up well. All right, that shows up well. What about the green one? I would hate to, Stacy. I'd hate to write on your photos that uh, have been sitting here for a while. My apologies. I will get these out to you. Um, and then the marker not. Because uh, sometimes, well, those are usually paint pens, though, you have to shake. So, to Stacy. I like these pens. I also like that because it's metallic. It shows up better than if I just use the red. You know, I'm thinking about it like, you know, maybe not the greatest idea to use red on red, but I like the way it matches. And you can see it. I think you can see it. I think that's nice. I like it. I like it. And then I'll figure out what to draw on those index cards for you, most likely. Spoiler alert, probably going to be whoopers. But I'll do that off camera. That way I have time to think about it. Maybe I'll write to Stacy and I'll sign over here. That way I'm not all in the green. Ooh, that's a nice color. I mean, green is great. We know that, but. Does this mean I'm famous now? People TTM me pictures through the mail. That's like something like people send like, 
Hey, I, I found your address on Google, uh, Chris Bartlett. Please sign my random ferryman picture from Mando Season 1. That's literally the only example. Because I, I saw that that person does through the mail, so that's why I use that example. But some celebrities do have that, where you can send them and they'll sign it. I didn't think this one turned out better than the other one. But I think they both look good. So thank you so much, Stacy, for sending me this envelope. I'm sorry it got stuck in the pile of gifts. I mean, this was a gift to me. I'm so happy from your notes and everything. That is awesome. I'll keep that. Like I said, I will figure this out and I'll get you some drawings. I'll have that sent out to you. Most likely not in the envelope you sent just because I don't want it to get to... Even though it says do not bend, the post office does things. So I will get that for you. But thank you so much. That is awesome. I appreciate the note and your support. That is so cool. This is so cool. All right. All right. Set that over there. Very cool. We have this other package here from potentially Nick, potentially not. Ooh, we have minis. Ooh, we have looks like Safari Sites minis. I wonder if this is a set. Ginter Chrome. Ooh, elephant. I haven't seen that one before. Safari truck. Has, it has 15 on the back, so I'm wondering if this is a full set. Ooh. We have an elephant. Cheetah. Crocodile. That one looks cool. There's a gazelle. We have the gray crowned crane. A hyena. I hate hyenas. A lion. Oop, the lion ran away. No! Oh, I knocked over my free Jar Jar auto. Rip Jar Jar. All right, let me set that down because I guess I was holding too many. We have a warthog. Vervet monkey. There's the giraffe. I love the giraffe. Now, I know actually in the envelope from John M, John M had said, hey, if you don't pull a giraffe, I will send one to you. So now I have two giraffes. I mean, I don't have the second one yet. I haven't opened it. But we have giraffe. We have zebra. We have leopard, a little hippo, lion cub, and the safari truck. That is cool. That's true. You will see a safari truck on a safari. Makes sense. But wow, thank you so much. Like I said, Nick or not Nick, do appreciate that. That is cool. I have a set. I need to swipe more mini binder pages uh, to actually put my minis. I do have the retail exclusive mini set that was like the sea creatures. Um, I still need pages for that, and I need pages for these now, too. Very cool. Ginter Chrome Minis. I love Ginter unreasonably. Bossman loves Ginter. I was always kind of like, Ginter's kind of weird. Now I'm on Team Ginter. I love it. I love it. I used to hate mini cards. I'd be like, why would you want a card that's hard to store? But they're cool looking. They're cool looking. Alrighty. Now we have a couple more packages here. Uh, this one I'm going to open pretty quickly. I think this was actually just sent to us as promo, Rainbow Starlight. I googled it. Uh, seems to be a company that makes their own card game. So we'll just look at it. We'll just look at it. I, I won't vouch for it either way, but we'll look at it. Obviously, they had the, the courtesy to send it to us to look at. I'm, I'm not going to not look at it, unless there's something weird in here. Unless it's inappropriate for YouTube. We'll see. All right. All right, it says Pooch Stooges. It says warning, crime, violence, immorality. Oh, interesting. This is a game. Welcome to Mega Cityopolis. Most infested city during the Roaring Dandies. Become a boss and recruit your goons. Oh, that's cool. It's like a, it's like a kind of like a, a mob, mob deck builder. That's actually pretty cool. I know some friends that are really into deck builder. Uh, I mean, if it's safe to hang out, I'll bring it over. We can all play and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. But that is cool. The art's cute. Kind of Rainbow Starlight to send us a game. They do have a website. Rainbowstarlight.com, I believe, was the website. Yeah, Rainbowstarlight.com. First print. Ooh, first. Ooh, first end. Should take about 45 minutes to play. Two to six players. Teen, 14 plus. That is cool. 200 cards, 200 plus cuttable tokens, and a rule book. That is cool looking. It reminds me kind of like the cartoony style, almost like the boondocks, but not quite. That is cool though. Made in the USA. Very cool. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. 
Not sure when, but I'll give it a try. All right, we're getting close to the end here. Here's that note, that Christmas card from John M. John, well, you can see their last name. John M. from Washington, Attention Alley. Ooh. In the name of Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. There's the giraffe. May your Christmas be a celebration of the Savior. Have a great holiday season, John M. Oh, thank you very much, John M. Giraffe! We have giraffes out the wazoo in here. This is wonderful. I don't want to ding the card. The card did get a little bent up in the mail. But I will do my part to not make it more bent. But thank you so much, John. Very, very appreciative of you sending me your own Ginter Chrome Giraffe. John said he pulled one. And if I didn't get one, it would have my name on it. So thank you so much. Safari Sites Chrome 10 Giraffe. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very kind of you to share the gifts this holiday season. All right, I'm running out of space here. Draft pile. I mean, we, we are almost done. Kind of. Yeah, we got a couple things left. Up next from Douglas and Lindsay. So I think I have enough space to finish off here. Douglas and Lindsay. Now I am semi-aware of what's in here. Uh, I am big into rocks and minerals. If you guys are not aware, I believe there are rocks and minerals in this package, which is amazing. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see me do a video on my box of rocks, because I do have one of those. And there's cards in here. Ooh. 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 Thank you so much, Douglas and Lindsay. We have, oh, look at that. We have an autograph, 20, 2008. Oh, but it's an archive. 25 of 31, Trevor Hoffman. Autograph. That is cool. It's 2008 Ginter buyback there for 2019 archive signature series. We have a second Boyo rookie for the Pistons from Prism. 2019-20 Prism. Got some hockey in here. All these Series 1, 2021 Series 1 Lightning Team set there. We have Ben Bishop. It's an older Ben Bishop. What was that last year's? Yeah, 1920. We have SP Authentic Bishop. We have 1920 Lightning Team set here. More SP Authentic, Braden Point, Vasilevsky, Stamkos. Well, that's cool. Authentic Moments, Stamkos. Kucherov Portraits. Kucherov's out for the season with a hip surgery. Uh, it was, it was, I mean, it's sad that we lost Kucherov, but it was funny. I was reading on Reddit, uh, the post, and then people were saying, saying like, Julian, Tanya, Harding, Breezeball. <laughs> They're like, man, can't believe he waited outside practice with a baseball bat just to get under the cap. And I'm like, Jesus. It was funny, though. It was funny, though. But hopefully Kucherov recovers soon. Yeah, MVP Kucherov, Braden Point, Stamkos. Oh, we have an Opeachy Platinum, Vasilevsky. MVP, love MVP. Blake Coleman, Eric Cernak, and Patrick Maroon from OPG. Thank you very much, Douglas and Lindsay, for these gifts. Really appreciate it. And we have the rocks. I love rocks. I originally wanted, started out as a geology major, but then I realized I didn't want to do field work, so I switched the math. Look at that. I just want to collect rocks. I just want to be, this is what I want out of life. I want to be successful enough that I have a very cool rock collection very cool Star Wars collection. I get to pay my bills on time and live comfortably. And also, I, I watch Clint's Reptiles channel a lot. Uh, he recently did a video on questionably world's bet, best pet fish, uh, a stingray. Because apparently you can own stingrays as pets. It's like, if I could be successful in life enough to be able to keep and take care for responsibly and obviously need a big tank and whatnot but if i could have a pet stingray i think i'm winning that that sounds good to me we have this one here it's a good video you guys should watch it i already linked something though so i don't think i, I don't think i can link multiple times i know the little pull out disappears uh, but the little info button remains if you go hover in the corner but i'm pretty sure you can't put more than one link if i'm wrong just yell at me we have this one too. I didn't switch from geology because I was bad. I, I've had a 4.0 my entire collegiate career. Entire, both degrees I ended up with. I had 4.0s, had 4.0 in geology when I was there. I just, 
I didn't want to do field work, man. I just don't want to go camping. It's not for me. Like, if I'm going to poop, I want to poop in a toilet. I want to be able to take a shower. I don't want to, like, have to wipe my butt with leaves in the woods, okay? Like, I will just go to cool museums and look at rocks. And buy my own rocks. And just watch TV specials on rocks. You know, like National Geographic DVDs and whatnot. Maybe go on vacation. Go hunting for rocks for a day. And then be able to go back to a hotel. And like I said, not poop in the behind a tree and take a shower have air conditioning water food normal things that i feel like is not unreasonable for me to ask for oh i was gonna put the bag away and then i was like probably need to put the bag in Ooh, look at that one that one's got red flecks in it focused on my hand maybe if i just bring my whole hand up you guys can see that this one has a purple tint Ooh. One of these, I remember Douglas let me know that if I hold it under a black light, I think it shines. And one of them, if I get it wet, it looks shinier. This is so cool. I love these. Douglas also let me know what all the names of these rocks were, but that was a while ago. I don't remember. But I love my rocks. You guys, I'm very simple. I'm very simple. I just need rocks. But that is super awesome actually going to move the cards over here, but I'm going to leave the rocks out. Put them on display. Alright, that's about as far as I can go. Even though there's playmat space up there, that's where the camera's zoomed into. Alrighty. So we got cool rocks on display. And to our final package here from Bounty Hunter, Mr. Daniel. Spoiler alert, Bounty Hunter Break's name is Daniel. Well, let's go ahead and open this one on up. This feels like a box in here. This is another package I've been holding on to a while. Eey, made, uh, this came around Thanksgiving. Like I said, I've been busy. There is a small flat rate box inside of the big box. Dio. Ooh, and Ben Bishop. Huh? We have Geno we have the Geonosis red ones. Bro, this is awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> look, there's all look how many Dio's are in there. There you go. Dio's head. Dio's Lego headpiece looks like a Starbucks cup. Oh my god, look, look, look. This is oh my oh my goodness. Do these guys stand up on their own? Because that sounds like I need to make a little diorama on the shelf. I need so much more shelf space. Look at that. Oh my goodness. There's so many battle droids. We have a Dio keychain. Aww. We have... We have some Ben Bishop Opichi. We have Ben Bishop Older Series 1. Yeah, 18, 19 Series 1. Look at that little all-star mini sticker, Vasileski. A little Braden Point Tops Now sticker. That's cool. That's really cool. And we have some Episode 1, Series 2, Wide Vision packs. Oh, look at the battle droids. All right, let's look at our Phantom Menace cards here, you guys. I'm opening them up. They've been closed for over 20 years. What's the copyright date on these? 1999. I'm ruining it. Let's go. Let's go. 20 year old cards. Let's see. I'm gonna give this to Boss Man because he hates Boss Nass so much. Be like, look what I got you for Christmas. <laughs> look at the battle droids. So many droids. No, but Boss Man hates Boss Nass. So if y'all ever just, like, want to send Boss Man Boss Nass cards, do it. Do it. He won't watch this video. He won't watch this video all the way through. He'll watch, like, 30 seconds and skim through the video. Get confused as to why I'm wearing a gritty hat. But, yeah, send Boss Man your Boss Nass cards that you don't want. And the battle droids. 
Jar Jar. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them. Yaddle. More droids. Little pit droids. They're so cute. Oop, I think two are stuck together here. Baby Anakin. All right, three packs remain. That you can tell is super CGI'd. But to be fair though, it looks like mid 2000s PS2 CGI. Definitely ahead of its time. Haha, <laughs> STAP Warfare. We have a checklist card. That's cool. Captain Panaka and Padme. A nice looking picture of Darth Maul. More Darth Maul. Oh, we skipped the card. Watto. Sebulba, Yarina, and the last pack, Rip, Big Sad, and Qui-Gon. All right, very cool cards here. Oh, I was making a battle droid pile and I forgot. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Bounty Hunter, for these awesome gifts. And that is it for the gifts through the mail. I'm just looking real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. No, 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 I did not. And that is very awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. Steven, Scott, Bounty Hunter, Douglas and Lindsay, Academic, John M, Stacy for that kind note, Rainbow Starlight for this trial product. Mystery Amazon packages, Southern Hobby for these cool snacks. You know what? Time for a snack break. How do I open this? From the bottom. All right. Quick snack break. Potentially Nick from eBay or not. Who knows? For that Ginter mini set. That is awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. I love everything. It's time for Boss Man's gift to me. You have one box here, two autographs per master box, guaranteed. Tops has been a bit iffy these past several cases on uh, Masterwork. But, I have a good feeling about this box. Let's see what we have from Boss Man. Let's see if Boss Man picked me out a good box. See, I've got good feelings about this box. It speaks to me. It speaks to me. It gives me good energy. All right, here we go. Mini box number one. This is so crazy that it's taken an hour and 17 minutes to open up everyone's gifts. This is crazy. Thank you so much, everybody. All right, let's see if Bossman did a good job here. This pack of light. Look at that. We got one of them, one of them hateful boxes from Tops. So we'll see if we double up anywhere. We got Baby Yoda base card. Yoda insert. In a blue parallel, Count Dooku. All right, we'll see, we'll see. All right, mini box number two. All right, we got some double up here. Should be two hits, we'll see. Captain Rex base, we have a purple stamp. We have an auto here, base auto. We have Leanna Walsman as Zam Wessel. Not a bad auto here at all. Very gorgeous signature as well. Base auto. Full Yoda insert as well. Purple Count Dooku stamp, numbered out of 50. 48 of 50. 40th anniversary insert and a WG-22. One of those battling droids from the Solo movie. 
All right, mini box number three. We have a green Ahsoka, number nine of 99, nine of 99. All right, now we need to be doubled up here in auto and an additional hit in the last mini box. Otherwise, I don't want to have to send off my own missing hit from the tops, but I will if I have to. Oh, what is that? Is that a sketch? Oh, it is a sketch. All right, so no missing hits here. We do have Hermione Corfield as Tally Lintra. Ooh, we have a Matthew Hyron sketch. I love his stuff. Let's save that till the end. I said I had a good feeling about this box, you guys. I said I had a good feeling. Boom. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. On the TIE Fighter. Gorgeous sketch there. That is Kylo Ren, right? I feel like Kylo Ren was on top of a TIE Fighter at one point. The cape is throwing me off a little bit. I know Darth Vader in the Rebel Series 2 finale was on a TIE Fighter. Like, he came out like that. But I'm not, it doesn't look like a Vader helmet. Like, the silhouette to me looks like Moff Gideon, but I haven't uh, actually seen Mandalorian yet, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one, not certain. That is a gorgeous sketch. I love it. Definitely keeping that for my personal collection. That is awesome. See, I said I had a good feeling about this box. Got good vibes. Very awesome Matthew Hiron sketch there. I love it. I love it. And an off here on a high note. Also, no missing hits. But again, why I do not recommend buying individual mini boxes. Like, even before we started seeing the, like, mini boxes without hits and then the ones that had extra hits, just don't buy individual mini boxes of Masterwork. Most of the time, you're going to get someone going to weigh the mini boxes be like, all right, here's a junk medallion. Let's put this on eBay. Like, most of the time with mini boxes, individual mini boxes, unless you're buying from a shop and they just open up and then you just pick whatever, you just... I mean, as long as they aren't letting people feel them before they pick, be like, pick one through four and then grab whatever. Like, if it's a shop you trust, that's fine. But some random seller on eBay, don't be buying individual mini boxes. You're going to get shafted. 99% of the time, I would hazard to say. But that will do it here for this crazy Christmas special, you guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. But yeah, it is... It is almost wow. I've been here for a while, but this this has been crazy, you guys. Thank you so much for everything. I really do truly appreciate all of it. Shout out to Bossman for the box of masterwork and my new gorgeous sketch card that I own. Love this ice cube. Love all my gritty stuff. All the snacks that I've partially inhaled. Everything has been crazy. Thank you so much, you guys. This has been an awesome journey throughout 2020, and I'm ready to start 2021 and just keep pushing as hard as I have been this year. It's just insane. It's insane that you guys like me enough to send me all these gifts. That's crazy. But thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this crazy holiday special here. Our longest mail opening. Longest mail opening. Other longest mail opening was about an hour. This one is almost an hour and a half. This is crazy. I mean, there is that part I have to cut out where I was moving stuff. But still, it's still going to be our longest mail video. But this has been absolutely insane. Thank you so much, everybody, for everything. Thank you, all of you out there. Whether you've sent me something or not, it doesn't matter. I appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, leaving comments, just letting me know that you guys enjoy what I'm seeing. Or if you don't like something, that's fine, too. Any kind of feedback is good to hear. Um... I don't always like negative feedback, but it is what it is. But I just... This is crazy. I'm speechless. I'm speechless right now, you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up. I do have to clean this up, but I will do my best to get through those two personal breaks I said I would do. I do have food waiting at home for me, though. I did tell Joshua I'd do his stuff, though. We might be flying through some Star Trek, you guys. We might be just go, just straight up, just boom. To be fair, though, Rittenhouse stuff, you get very few, you get, like, a couple inserts in your hits, and, like, that's all you really gotta look for, so it shouldn't be too, too slow. But anyways, let me go ahead and get this cleaned up here. Thank you so much for a wonderful holiday this year. I hope you all had a wonderful day as well, whether you celebrate Christmas or not. Hope you had a really nice Friday, good Friday, and have a wonderful start to 2021. We're almost there, you guys. Crazy to think this time next week will be the first 
I believe, if I, my, my, my schedule's in my head right. Next Friday is already the 1st of January. Wild ride, not even at our first year yet. I'm curious to see what milestone we will hit before then. I think we might get to 17k, not quite certain. But that sentence on its own is insane. Like, I was filming, I think, uh, for my personal channel yesterday, and I was talking about, oh yeah, the 10k special in October, and I'm like, that was almost 7,000 people ago. That was, like, two and a half months ago, because I think it was early October, Seven and a half thousand, seven, almost seven thousand people since then. Seventeen thousand people since January fourteenth, twenty twenty one, is nuts. I mean, yeah, we're at like sixteen point six now, but still, it's crazy. So thank you so much, everyone, for your support. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this really long episode here. I just want to cuddle the ice cube, but it's gonna. I'm gonna rub my face all over it. Anyways, anyways, that'll do it for me here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Like I said, I'll be back with those two personal breaks later today. Won't get Stuff won't get mailed out till Monday, but uh, hopefully the post office will be calmer by then and it will actually arrive. <laughs> but anyways, let me go get this cleaned up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Comments for me. Leave those down below, those prompts I left through throughout the video. Make sure you go ahead and answer any of those questions if you have an answer for any of those things that I mentioned. And if you're not yet part of the Tight Cards family, We'd love to have you with us. We're never we're never going to stop growing here, so it's never too late to join. Make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But take care, everyone. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I'll be back later. Bye.